the word nothing is a pronoun used when talking about things that don't exist or when talking about very, very small amounts. I have nothing. So here's the subject. This is the verb. This is the object. This is the same thing as saying, I don't have anything. I have nothing or I don't have anything. They mean the same thing. However, if you say you have nothing, sometimes this sounds like there's more emphasis or there's more strength to the idea. I have nothing or I don't have anything. It depends on the situation. I can't think of anything. Change this to I can think. So we eliminate not and then use this preposition and then the pronoun nothing. I can't think of anything. I can think of nothing. I can't do anything or I can do nothing. I can't do anything. I can do nothing. He doesn't understand anything. He doesn't understand anything becomes he understands nothing. This is perhaps useful in talking about a person's understanding of a language. They don't have anything becomes they just eliminate this. They have nothing. They don't have anything. They have nothing. I don't know anything about that. I know, and then of course, just change this to nothing. And then if you want to add this, you may. I know nothing about that. Nothing is commonly used when making comparisons. For example, nothing is better than, and then this is the thing that's really good or the best. So here's the subject. This is the verb. And then here's the comparative. And then this is the thing. Nothing is better than chocolate ice cream. Nothing is better than chocolate ice cream. You can also use nothing when comparing two things or two people. For example, she looks nothing like her, and then we could put the person here. She looks nothing like her sister or mother. In this case, nothing is an adverb that modifies the verb look. She looks nothing like her sister. Or, this tastes nothing like chicken. 
somebody tells you that something tastes like chicken and you don't think it does, you disagree and then you'd say something like this. This tastes nothing like chicken. Again, the word nothing is functioning like an adverb that modifies the verb taste. Or we could put nothing at the end of the sentence and say something is better than nothing. Something is better than nothing. So you'll hear a person say this when he or she or a group has a very small amount of something which is better than nothing whatever it is could be food could be a place to live clothes to wear a job the word nothing is often used when exaggerating a situation what are you doing today a popular answer to this question would be nothing even though you might have some plans, it's common for someone to answer with nothing. What did you do at school today? This is a question your parents might ask you. A common answer is nothing. It's not accurate to say nothing, but it's very common to give this as the answer. What did you do yesterday? And the answer, nothing. But of course, something did happen. A person did something yesterday. And it's very likely in this question, the person is doing something. But again, the answer is just nothing. If you see someone deep in thought, this question might be asked, what are you thinking about? And a common answer is nothing, even though the person is probably thinking about something or something important. So even when a person answers with nothing, it doesn't absolutely mean nothing. I have to go shopping because we have nothing in the refrigerator. But in reality, there is something in the refrigerator. But in this case, it means that there's not very much in the refrigerator. It's not absolutely nothing. There's nothing to do. After nothing, here's the infinitive, and you can change this, of course, for other activities. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to eat. There's nothing to watch on TV. Notice how many statements begin with there's nothing and then followed by more. If you hear it's nothing, This is usually in response to something another person says. It could be um, the existence of a problem or the perceived existence of a problem. For example, if someone says, what's that noise? So here's the question. And then the person who responds and doesn't hear anything or doesn't perceive of a problem can say, it's nothing. The last thing to mention about the word nothing is that when people pronounce this word, often they drop the G. And so it sounds like nothing. Instead of nothing, nothing. It's nothing. However, when you speak English, I recommend that you pronounce the word as nothing with the G.